And we're back. Let's check out Creepy Edward. I guess we'll go in his backyard again first. Okay, so far nothing seems too weird. It's a bit of an arty, a little weird. I doubt he actually has mines. I think he just put that up because it looks neat. He has a kitty. Kitties are nice. He's probably cool. Again, you know... It feels like so far our suspects are either very weak or if they have some sort of thing that would be a good motive, there are better ways of going about it, basically. So... That was my phone. Because it has to go off every so often and buzz because I don't know. Or maybe it's a French thing and I just don't get it about the whole seal the dog to win the guy over situation. I, I don't know. Again, the only person who maybe, maybe Aww. but oh, then let him keep the fucking dog. No, I actually don't, because I'm sure the, the, mo the dog mother, so to speak, isn't too happy about it, but I wouldn't be too mad at him. I mean, if he's feeding the dog and taking care of him. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, it doesn't sound like the dog's in any danger. <laughs> like, the dog was kidnapped, but it sounds like who, like, so far the suspects who would kidnap the dog are probably not going to hurt the dog. They're going to take care of the little guy. Oh, that at least makes sense as a clue. And, you know, she does say, you know, this could just be a prop because, you know, goth metal band, this is the kind of shit you'd probably use. Um... But maybe it was a meal for a little dog. Like, maybe, you know, he's mourning the loss of his guinea pig, so he kidnapped the dog to help get over it. Which, okay, you know, maybe that's a very weird yet plausible way of dealing with it. You know, get another pet, and everyone loves this dog, and he knows he gets along with this dog, so take the dog he knows he gets along with, even though that's probably, like, the stupidest way of doing it. You know, at that point, you know, I wouldn't be too concerned about the dog's little health. At least not as much as if it was, like, somebody doing it for purely malicious reasons, like the fucking blackmailer, who, if that is the dog napper, I will not be that surprised. And they are right now the one person that I would not want near that dog, because they are fucking malicious and are willing to basically say an innocent person did it and... That is a terrifying thought, is that they're willing to, and they're doing it to get at us for some reason, because, I don't know, we exist? Which, that in of itself scares me. It's like, okay, we exist, why are you doing this? Like, we don't know who the fuck you are. Oh. I don't know either. So, really the most mysterious thing and threatening thing in this game is the blackmailer themselves, which I think is probably what they were going for.
But at the same time, this is kind of a what the fuck kind of deal. I know I saw a mummy earlier. That's what's making me crazy about this. Like, I saw the mummy multiple times and now I can't find it at all? Like, oh my god. I don't- I never saw the faucet though, unfortunately, so that one I'm kind of like, what the fuck. Well, let's see which one the hints find first. Or I did see the faucet, I just couldn't see the faucet. Forget it, I'm not... Yeah, I saw the mummy like five times! First things first, we get clovers. So again, I'm just kind of thinking, oh, for the love of, I step away for 10 sec. Like, I wasn't even like paying attention and did that. So let's check the garage. Okay, this is like the best music in the game. Oh, come on. It was like, this is the best music in the game. Stop. Okay, so he's a vegetarian. Though I'm guessing he fed it the dog meat because, you know, the dog needs it. Yeah, uh, dogs and cats are technically carnivorous animals. Um, so they do need meat to live. So if you are a vegan and you do not want to feed your pet meat, get a, an omnivore. Uh, not an omnivore. Uh, Herbivore, herbivorous pet, like a rabbit or a guinea pig, which clearly this guy had. A portfolio. Oh, it's not a clue. You'd think it would be. Okay, I saw the pestle and mortar right there. A syringe? Okay. It's supposed to be a chameleon somewhere here, but naturally it's hiding. <laughs> Again, I apologize for how bad my voice sounds. I, I have been sick. Now, obviously he's not slacking or anything. I mean, he, you know... Obviously he works on his music and shit like that. I mean, I know like the stereotype is they're lazy and they're just doing their music and blah, blah, blah. No, that's not lazy. It's hard to write sometimes. Like, I'm known to be like a really fast writer a lot of the time and I'll come up with things extremely quickly, but then there are times where I have like a mild form of writer's block or extreme form of writer's block and I can't write anything, basically. Um... Like I said, I've been working on a fan fiction, for example. I'm going to use it as an example. Um, the first few chapters, I could just bang them out, and every so often I can still bang out a chapter very quickly. But right now I'm stuck on the, I believe, 23rd chapter of it, and I just got through a major plot point, and I need to get to the next major plot point that's going to happen. That, well, actually I went through two major plot points. Um... And I need to start getting to the next major plot point, which is going to be, like, the main story for the main character. I just wanted to establish certain things first so that they have reason to do what they have to do next. Um, basically, I had to... First of all, I had to get them to the location that would start giving them these major plot points. I cannot find anything. Okay, 
I saw those like 50 times, why couldn't I see them? Watch, I actually find the chocolate bar. But, yeah, um, what was I saying? Okay, seriously, that looked like part of the thing. Rope. That looks like rope. That is. It's a fucking noose! Didn't we just find candy? Essentially, a chocolate bar. Those look like pills! I want to test something. Oh shit! Can you, like, refill in the middle of searching? Oh my god, you can! Holy shit! That is really fucking twisted. I like it. That did not look like a submarine. There. I thought the chameleon was in there, but it didn't look like a chameleon I knew of. No. Okay, as I was saying about writer's block is I kind of had to get the character first to the place that would start her on her journey to getting what she needs. She's like this lone wolf character that hates her fucking town and everything except for like one person who was her, the person who raised her basically. Um, her next step would be to get the friends she needed, which um, went through the course of everything in the meantime she starts establishing a what turned into like a huge polyamorous relationship but that was kind of more what the writing led me into like because I didn't want to separate three of the characters and I kind of wanted to keep a certain established relationship going as well because you know I liked the relationship um so I started you know establishing it as more polyamorous and it kind of just turned into that And I had to establish giving her a reason to be a little more proud of who she was as a person, meaning I had to give her something that utilized her <coughs> skills and talents. So I kind of had to give her these things to fight for, basically. And I just came to her and I'm doing like a fluff chapter and I'm stuck on it. <laughs> Excuse me. So, this business is getting complicated. I found a damaged bonsai tree at the Mezu the Mezakuzos. Kuzos. It looks like the work of a dog. And this creepy kid, Burr, with his frightening rituals. Frightening rituals? He scares me. How upset is he about the death of his guinea pig? Could he have stolen Jason to replace his guinea pig? Makes me wonder what I have, what the rest of my neighbors have in store for me. And still no payment from my publisher. I could not pay back my house's loan this month. Something rains around must be. You want to open it? Apparently, what if it's sheriff the black man place? Now back to work on the double. I must find this dog. Okay. First of all, Jason didn't seem to have any creepy rituals. It looks like he's the artsy type that likes horror stuff. That's it. He doesn't look creepy at all. He seems like the kind of guy I would hang out with. Your publisher sounds like a dick.
wake up, Miss Terry Day. The week is nearly over. How? Oh. Still no hint of Jason. If I were you, I'd check out the pocket list. Then I'd circle back to the homes of the too polite to be true Mother Cousins. And lastly, that of our victim. I'm sure you will find clues that have escaped you. That reminds me, all these homes, they're getting funny. What horns? A dog shows in town, huh? I think we should go to where we've been first and then we do the new place. That's just my method. So let's start with the victims. Ah, oh, there's only one place to search, so we could probably stop the video after this. So. I thought that was a flashlight, but eh. Okay, like, I thought I saw a cricket bat around here somewhere. So let's think here. Honestly, this person, I think... Uh, first of all, how is the week almost over? There's only been a few chapters, and... Or is it, like, Wednesday and the person's just trying to put a fire under us because they're an asshole? And the horns? What the fuck is up with the... What are they talking about with the horns? That is fucking weird. I'm serious. That is fucking weird. I... Are they talking about the horns that I've been hearing honk occasionally? Because it's like, that's confusing me. Like, to an insane point, that is actually fucking confusing me. Oh, kitty. Kitty always makes me feel better because kitties are awesome. Kitties are the best thing in the world, and if anyone says otherwise, well, they can just, um... Well, enjoy their catless life, I guess. But kitties are awesome. I do know somebody who hates cats. I'm kind of like, why the fuck do you hate cats? Like, oh, they always bite me and scratch me. Well, clearly you approach them with hedges. Like, I, the, the way he approaches my cat, Pete, who will not bite or scratch anyone on the planet unless you're actually physically trying to hurt him. And that doesn't happen. And he's like, see the, like, he sees Pete, like, being like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's like, see, he's like, scared of, like, he's gonna bite me or something. Like, no, you're approaching him like he's going to bite you, and he's like, what the fuck? Just pet him. You know, and I show him, just do this, and Pete's, like, all happy and, you know, cute and sweet. Like, Pete is the cat I would take somebody who says, cats do not like me, too. And Pete would be like, well, are you gonna pet me? Because Pete will not run from you except to play chase. And then he will jump up and he will look as like, okay, chase done, pet me, love me, I love you. Because Pete is a very sweet, gentle cat. In fact, he gave me a scare recently. Oh, God. He had a seizure right before Christmas. And holy fuck, I freaked out. Um, he's fine now, but it turns out he has a heart condition, this cat. This cat is 10 years old. Um... And he has a heart condition, so I am a little worried about him, but he seems to be doing okay. We just have to get him to gain weight again, because he's a nut. I don't think I used one clover. Yeah, I didn't use one clover in that room. Wow. So let's sh check out the... Wasn't it 8474? Oh, wow! 
They changed the code, I guess, because they're broken. Seven, seven, seven. Oh, wait. Seven, seven, one, four? Okay. Seven, two, three, four? Seven, four, two, four? Seven, five, two, seven, six, two, four. <laughs> that took for it was like, okay, time to hard guess that one number. <laughs> just, just hard guess the one number in there, because it's like, that's the only why. Um, so I guess you kind of have to, um, do that. They didn't have this pretty music before. Why didn't they have this pretty music before? I like this pretty music. Yeah, is that the horn they're talking about? Because that's more annoying than anything. It's like, why? Why is that a thing in this game? Like, I really don't know what's up with the blackmailer now. The blackmailer's just out of their fucking mind. I don't even know if it's male or female, so I'm not gonna say he or she. I'm gonna say they until I know for sure who they are. Um... They're... Like, they're the scariest thing in this game, and I have a bad feeling they're, like, a recurring character, technically. Like we're going to see them again and again, like, every game. Which, I'm sorry, is going to suck. I actually be really interesting there's just, like, a neighborhood-wide conspiracy. It's like, everyone wants in on the dog, and it's not, like, the motivations that... We've been saying it's sort of like, well, we kind of got sick of Abigail having, like, all of the dog to herself, and we all decided that he's now the neighborhood dog, and he belongs to all of us, so we're all taking turns taking care of him to prove we can, and it'll give her a chance to, you know, pay attention to her husband, you know, have a break, um... You know, we all... We all like this dog. We think the dog is cool, and that's why we did this. I would love that to be the motive. It's like the one innocent person is Abigail herself. Which would be fucking hilarious. <coughs> A hedgehog, a paper bag, and a cockroach. At least the cockroach is outside. I want that to be like the uh, end of the of the story. Is like everyone kidnapped the dog, and the reason they did it was because they all wanted to take care of the dog because they all love the dog so much. So it was like a very cute, st stupid as fuck, but very cute little. Like a rock. 
Oh, I like hedgehogs. That was tiny. So let's grab some clovers. That's a big fucking clover. <laughs> that should count as two. We'll grab some clovers and we'll stop for now. But yeah, I want that to be the ending of the story now, because that that is my headcanon now, is that's what happened until like we end the story. And the Skype is like, why is that there? Because that would be a cute little like twist to the story of this entire game is that everyone loved the dog so much they all wanted the dog to like belong to them and he becomes like the neighborhood dog. You know, because then that means like no matter what, the dog will always have a home. Like the dog could run away and actually like, um, you know, living with somebody like the dog would always be safe. Which I think is a nice idea. But, you know, that's just me being, you know, silly and writing the story myself and blah blah blah. And I didn't write this, obviously. So, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, this is a good stopping point. Bye!